Hey there guys, Pajama Prepper here. In this video, I'm going to be responding to a question from Prepper Potpourri. Uh, they asked if I could show how to program the Baofeng UV5R to scan police channels. Now, I've been trying to figure this out for the past couple of hours on and off, and uh, right now I'm at the stage where I have my Unit N Bearcat uh, BC355N, and I'm listening for uh, any local... Uh, I guess you can say chatter on my uh, town's police frequency. And what I've done is I've inputted the same frequency here along with the proper CTCSS tone. Now what I'm trying to do is wait to see if this will receive when they transmit to. And if it and if uh, something gets picked up on the scanner on this frequency and nothing gets picked up here, we'll know that I'm doing something wrong or that this uh, scanner cannot transmit or excuse me, cannot receive on the, the frequencies that public safety uses here. But uh, underneath the antenna, uh, the following is written on a little plate underneath it. You have to unscrew it and look at it. It'll say FM dash, or excuse me, FM slash 136 dash 174 slash 400 dash 520 megahertz. Okay, so this is dual band. 136 to 174 is one band, that's VHF. 400 to 520 megahertz is VHF. <clears throat> now, if you have a unit in Bearcat, you can even look underneath oh, underneath it here. Look at this little cheat sheet. And you'll be able to see that uh, in that band, 136 to 174, what we have are, uh, it says 137 to 144 megahertz is military land. 144 to 148 megahertz is the... Oh, hold on. It's working. Holy shit. It's it's actually working. Holy crap. And I'm and I'm also getting it on my scanner. Wow. Okay, so all right, so that kinda interrupted there for a minute. But it worked. Okay. So prepper potpourri. That was really unexpected and I'm glad that just happened. Uh so okay. This is how I got that to work now. Um Wow, that was really unexpected. Interesting. Uh, so I have my scanner on also. I'm just going to lower the volume. Uh, I went to radioreference.com because I needed to know the CTCSS tone uh, or PL tone. Now, uh, if you go to radioreference.com, they have a database of essentially all the frequencies out there. Uh, they have them for police, fire, EMS, uh, other agencies, amateur radio, and you can even listen to live audio via Broadcastify. That's what I did during the Ferguson riots because... You know, I'm not in range of their repeater. <laughs> so I looked for the Winchester or uh, Winstead frequencies for police dispatch, which is uh, frequency modulation. That is the mode. The uh, it's alpha tag is just Winstead PD. And the tone is 162.2 hertz. And it's a PL tone. Uh, all right. So PL is CTCSS. That's what it essentially means. Now, if you're free, if you go here and you look, there's different ones. Like there's a, a digital PL, which is called, which is abbreviated DCS or DPL. Then you might even see CSQ, Charlie Sierra Quebec, Carrier Squelch, or No Tone, which I think is like with a uh, the Citizens Band. Uh, some frequencies in Connecticut have, or some you know, uh, have gone to uh, the NAC, which is a new digital uh, type of um, f mode. And the, the, these are all the sub-audible tones or access codes used on the output frequency. Now, uh, again, it's 162.2 hertz. So what I'm going to do, you have to put in your frequency. I don't want to hit the transmit button because that's illegal. So 155.565 megahertz. You're going to hit menu. Menu. And you're going to go up to, uh, just turn the volume down. I think it's number 11, but you're going to go to R-CTCS. And what's funny is that when you hit menu to go down, CTCSS. it actually says CTCSS. Then you're going to hit the up or down arrows. Oh, what I do? But, uh, I have to go back to 162-2 uh, hertz, or 0.2 hertz. Going to confirm and hit exit. Now... Unless you want to transmit and have the dual watch going, you if you want to do that, which you don't want to do, because transmitting on this is illegal in that frequency, 
you'd have to get the offset and everything and put it here. Again, because it's a repeater, or in any case, the uh, alpha slot up here is the, you know, the, the scanner frequency or the, you know, the frequency that the police department is using uh, to, that I'm receiving on. All right. Uh, now, I think they're operating simplex or whatever. I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, with two meter ham and the repeater stuff, from what I've read, you'd have to get the offset and everything and then insert another frequency, which is usually plus or minus from this one. And you'd put like 155.563 or 56 whatever, 569. Uh, and then have that like that. And then you'd talk, you'd transmit on Bravo and receive on Alpha. So, you know, so uh, it worked well. Now, with scanning-wise, the problem is that uh, not all frequencies are on 162.2 hertz for the tone. For example, my fire dispatch here in the town is 210.7 hertz, uh, and EMS is 82.5 hertz. Um, so what you would have to do, I, I believe you'd have to program each code manually. Channel mode. Frequency mode. Uh, doing channel, channel mode. mode. From and, Connecticut. Oh. Western Mass Zero. So ch I don't know how. Uh, let's go frequency mode. Frequency mode. mode. Menu. And let's go actually up to. Uh, there's so many different options. I really don't like it. <laughs> and let's memory go memory. Channel. And go channel two. Receiving memory. All right. Channel mode. Now we're at channel two. One. I'm flicking to two. So I assume now channel two is going to be, One, two, two. Uh, channel two is now going to be that police frequency. Mode. Channel mode. Uh, and then again, you'd have to do everything else like that. So you'd go to frequency mode and you'd punch in the frequency, punch in the uh, PL or the, you know, punch in the tone and the code. And then you'd go to menu and then go down to, or go up to. You go up to memory channel and then just hit menu, menu and then go up or down, whatever. Confirm. And then hit exit. Uh, and that should be it. Now I'm going to fool around with this a little bit to see Frequency if it uh, does any more. Again, I have the scanner on, so I'm going to uh, test it out a little bit to see if the scanner and whatever, if it all receives the same. Uh, but yeah, that's how you do it. Uh, and we got a little surprise glimpse of how it works. Sorry, this went a little longer than I wanted it to, but I hope you uh, figured this out. Uh, any other questions, whatever, you know where to get at me. Uh, so please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.